So you're probably here because just like me, you've noticed a trend and it's not a very good trend. Flights are expensive. Why are flights so expensive? Will things even change? And when can we expect a price drop? These are some of the questions that I'm gonna be looking into and also be giving you some bonus tips so that you can hopefully get the best prices. So watch all the way to the end. So full disclosure, I'm not an airline expert, just a frequent traveler to Japan. And I wanted to give you my thoughts and explore this topic specifically about traveling to Japan. But what I say will likely be adaptable to any destination. So for context, I actually live in Gibraltar that has one of the world's most unique airports. And I usually travel to Japan multiple times a year. I love exploring the country. And every time I return, there's always something more that I want to see. So I just keep on returning. Mainly because up to now, flights had been semi-affordable but things might be changing. I could say that I am obsessed with finding a good deal. My first flight in 2014 cost me 773 pounds. In 2015, I paid 756 pounds. And for some reason in 2017, flights were even cheaper with my flight costing me 440 pounds. 2018, and I paid 741 pounds. 2019, just before the pandemic and the world changed, I paid 642 pounds. So you get the picture, pre-pandemic, and I paid an average of around 750 pounds. But things are different now. I actually visited Japan in August, 2022, and I paid a whopping 1,922 pounds for my economy seat to Tokyo. That's about two and a half times my previous average trip to Japan. But I guess things were very expensive back then, mainly because the borders were still closed, there were limited flights to Japan, and I was competing against business people and those wanting to return home. So what is it like right now? Well, if I do a search six months in the future for my normal route, flights would currently cost me around £1,100 to £1,500 just under double pre-pandemic costs. I've actually been tracking flights for the last two months and apart from a few minor days, all of the flights have cost in between 1,000 and 1,900 pounds. Team, have you noticed an increase in flight prices? If so, how much more? Let me know in the comment section, I'd love to know. So where do we stand right now and what factors are actually making flights so expensive? Will things even change and when might we even expect a price drop? <sighs> so firstly, it's important to note that just like all markets, things are always changing and flight prices will increase and decrease depending on demand. The same as any other product and that is actually part of the problem. But in the case of flights, things are slightly different. Many flight routes have yet to be reintroduced since the pandemic but this is something that is changing very slowly and hopefully will have an effect on prices. For reference, ANA, which is one of Japan's leading airlines, still has many routes that it needs to reintroduce. And it looks like these suspended routes will be reintroduced by the end of March, 2023. It's also important to note that travel isn't immune to skyrocketing inflation, something that everyone is being affected by. The price of fuel, and the demand for travel from those with itchy feet after two years of not being able to travel is all having an effect on prices. And there's also staff shortages that still need to be addressed. Basically, if there's more interest in flights than seats available, airlines will charge more. It's the law of business after all. It's also important to note that flights are dependent on seasons and holidays. For example, Christmas and New Year's would probably be more expensive Traveling to Japan during Sakura season, you'll have to pay more. Traveling to Ibiza, for example, in the summer, you're gonna pay a pretty penny, whilst going to Ibiza in the winter months of season, you're likely gonna pay less. So just before we do dive a little bit deeper and explore why things are currently so expensive and look at ways that we might be able to save some money, are you subscribed to the channel? Because 74.5% of returning viewers are not, and it would be so cool to have you as part of the team and help the channel grow. So, let's get back to the video. 
So why are things so expensive? Well, there are many factors that we need to take into account. For example, fuel prices are affecting everyone and it's also affecting airlines. Then there's the issue of the Ukraine war. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has affected many aspects of the global economy and has made flying to Japan significantly worse, driving fuel prices to all-time highs and even made some flight paths even longer, especially from Europe. Coupled with demand on non-Russian flights due to the fact that Russian airlines are banned, all play a part on the issue. Not being able to fly on Russian airlines equals less seats available for the general public, driving up costs. Then there's a the topic of staff shortages. Yes, the number of people wanting to travel is increasing, yet there are still staff shortages and the airline industry continues to work with downside staff, something that is slowly improving. And this has had all sorts of ripple effects on flights, including flights having to be cut to avoid mass delays, cancellations due to staff shortages, staff getting sick, and there's even been a pilot shortage in the United States, something that was already causing a problem before the pandemic. Then there's the fact that travel is back with a vengeance. We can't sit here and pretend that we're not thinking about the economy differently to before the pandemic. There are increased costs of living, energy prices are going up, and economic uncertainty is making everyone think twice before traveling. So when can we expect more certainty and will flight prices improve? Until airlines return their pre-pandemic routes, something that is slowly happening and is expected to happen before the first half of 2023. For example, British Airways has recommenced its daily route to Tokyo and flight capacity from the United Kingdom to Japan is expected to be at pre-pandemic levels by the first half of 2023. So my prediction is that it will take most of 2023 for things to stabilize, hopefully with a more predictable purchasing pattern for 2024. I think that the majority of 2023 will be playing catch up with a lot of travelers with itchy feet that hadn't been able to travel for the last two years wanting to do so in 2023. And those customers will likely be more willing to pay higher prices. Therefore, for the majority of 2023, I expect purchasing tickets to be a gamble. And I really don't think that there's gonna be a right time to purchase tickets. My suggestion is that you find a price that's right for you and either cut your losses or celebrate your gains if prices go up or prices go down. Perhaps purchasing sooner rather than later is a way to go. And just for a reminder, I'm no expert, but I don't foresee prices falling to pre-pandemic levels during 2023. Potentially, once there are more flights in the air and the majority of customers that had had itchy feet during the pandemic have made it to Japan in 2023, coupled with more reluctant travelers due to the economy, we could see flight prices reduced towards the end of the year and going into 2024. But that's just my guess. Team, these are just my thoughts. I'm no expert by any means. I'm just going on my personal experience. And I would love to know what you think. What are your thoughts on all of this? And what are your predictions? Let me know in the comment section. And maybe you've been waiting for this part. If you're looking to hopefully make a saving, here are some tips to help you out. Firstly, check different dates. Sometimes leaving a day earlier or arriving a day later or a day earlier could save you a lot of money. According to Flight Scanner, your chances are better towards the start of the week and as the week progresses, things get more expensive. You could also potentially look at flying from an alternative airport near to where you live. Compare those first. Compare flying directly and flying with a layover and also compare purchasing each section of your flight individually to see if there's a saving that way. You can also explore a multi-city flight, meaning you arrive at one airport and leave from a different one. Don't forget to check out official airline websites such as JAL, ANA, etc. and compare them to overall travel websites like Expedia, Skyscanner, etc. Set up price flight tracking on services like Google Flights or Skyscanner to gauge the market. Checking on flights for around a week might give you an idea of where things stand. So team, those are just some of the tips that I use. Do you have any that you might recommend to me and to the rest of the community? Let me know in the comment section. I would absolutely love to know. 
and thank you very much for watching all the way to the end and if you have done so prove it by commenting with an airplane emoji if you can find one consider subscribing and liking and if you want to support financially you can always join our patreon use the supers feature on youtube or make a one-off donation with paypal which is usually the easiest and the best way to do so help me out so that i can continue making content like this one i will be flying to japan next week so keep an eye out on live streams when i'm there till next time arigatou gozaimasu gracias thanks bye